Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Look what we have. We have quite a treat. Well, we've been trying to get what we can done this year, get things going that we know will be productive next year. So, in my mind, the first thing I wanted was berries, really. Yes. We watched somebody taking flight overhead. Uh, so, so far what we got, Pat, uh, Pat, I'm, I'm, I'm pooped, yeah, I'm pooped. He's pooped. He's pooped. Yeah, I'm, I'm like sopping with sweat. That's what happens <laughs> when you're working in like 93, 94 degrees and high humidity in this area. Um, but what we got in so far, we had told you some things. We just planted uh, a couple of strawberries. We're going to start a strawberry patch. Actually, this is going to kind of be our berry plus patch. Uh, so we have a couple of strawberries that are going and then over here we have three blackberries and I love blackberries Actually, I love berries. You know that berries are great. Oh, yeah, when you have organic berries They are so so nutritious so packed with life force You know and you don't need to eat that much of them because they can uh, What is it give you as much of the nutritional value for your body? as you could possibly need just not and not very much no and you could also preserve them obviously yeah. so in the back here is a sour sop and that is this over here that's eventually going to get a little bit bigger it'll be about as big as the tree behind it um, and that's why he's in the back as the raspberries which are next those only get to be about five to six feet tall um, and they kind of, you know, are relatively robust and hardy. So they should do well. Actually, everything seems to love it back here. Everything has just adapted so well. And then over here we have some fig trees. We have three fig trees. Now these I got off of the um, stressed table. And they didn't look so good. And they are just loving life. These were like seven bucks each. And there was like hardly any leaves on them and they got lots of nice new growth. So they are very happy back here. And then what we have added to that besides three figs, three raspberries, three blackberries, uh, we got some blueberries. And of course blueberries can be much more picky, but these, these are tolerant of uh, this zone, which is zone eight. And so we got three blueberries and if they do anything like what Miss Nicole in West Virginia's do of course she's got a really green thumb uh, they should be pretty prolific and then after that we are going to be building trellises for three grape plants and Cindy's had really good luck with grapes in the desert and this is nothing like the desert but she also was you know living on a farm in Idaho so <laughs> yeah. that's a lot different than yeah. uh, you know close to being in Vegas uh, oh gosh yeah it's such a huge difference I mean night and day cultural difference no it's more like planetary differences yeah it's totally different but she, she does love it here we are loving it here uh, so I just wanted to update you give you guys a quick update on that because the idea is obviously try to get stuff uh, in the ground to be productive that might take a little time but I do think we'll be seeing some productivity as the blueberries already have a few blueberries on them and I think things here will kind of run wild as it does feel kind of tropical and like a jungle type of atmosphere you know it's it's such a difference from the east side of Texas to the west side of Texas it's it is like a different world totally wouldn't you say oh my god Gosh, yeah. I mean, it, it is. It's another night and day thing. How interesting it is to see all these different um, scenarios when you're traveling. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I, I, I've loved living all across the country except for the Pacific Northwest and, uh, you know, the northern tier states. I still have, I think, about 17 states to, to hit before I've hit them all. But it's fun to get a feel for living in different areas. You know, Cindy knows I have gypsy blood in me, so it's hard for me to settle down for too long. But, you know, we're planning on this being like a five-year project or thereabouts. You know, maybe it'll stretch to ten, maybe not. 
um, or maybe just three to five, but at any rate, <clears throat> we'll see how things go and we'll roll with the punches because we don't know what this world's going to bring us with all the earth changes and, you know, all the artificial flavoring that's going on out there. So just wanted to give you guys an update on what we're doing. Uh, we do have some pepper plants and tomato plants and a few other odds and ends that we're working on and you know that wasn't really a top priority for this year because I think there is going to be food available um, for a while you know but you're going to see shortages you are going to see things going up through the roof um, priority as oh look at the there, look oh at those gosh. two cuties huh those are that you know who that's a sign from that's a sign from Lakshmi Wow. The red birds. The red birds. Yes. The little love birds there. Cardinals. Cardinals. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of wildlife around here for sure. They're waiting to see if there's any berries yet. So. <laughs> well, yeah, and this is going to be the berry patch, so we're going to have to do netting um, and and devise a system, which we will. We, you know, we have good friends that uh, are running farms, so you know, we just ask them, what, what should I do? And yeah. then, then they give us their advice. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're definitely going to have to net this area in. Um, another priority is going to be getting a greenhouse up. Mm -hmm. um, because I do think it's going to be a priority to grow through the winter time. I think, uh, and I'm in agreement with some of the other gentlemen uh, that run channels like this uh, that think come winter, that's when we're going to start to really know uh, we're in deep doo-doo with, with the supply chain, especially as far as food goes. So this winter, yeah, that's going to be a key. And we, uh, it's, 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 Cindy and I always do this. We dream the same stuff. Yeah. It's wild because, you know, we're going to be putting food in here. And this is our, our well, it was a man cave as it was an old bachelor that owned this place. Uh, now it's just the cave. And so this structure is about 25 feet long and I want to say 20 feet wide and about 12 feet tall and so my plans are uh, to put some dwarf lemons and limes inside growing um, I did see there is a cold resistant avocado that's supposed to make it in zone 8 uh, thinking about trying two of those, maybe even planting them here by the man, well, the woman, the, <laughs> the cave, uh, to take advantage of the warmth. The You're looking to the north side here, so this is the east and then the south. So, you know, uh, basically this structure, that wall, is always exposed pretty much to the sun. Uh, so things should do well up against it because we're not going to let it get too cold in there. Um, and we're, we use it all the time because the house itself is tiny. It doesn't really have a living room per se. Uh, so this is kind of our living room out here. This is where we do our meditation, our yoga, our mantras, our qigong, uh, and as well as recreation. Because uh, one of the things that sold me on this is it had a pool table and we love to play pool. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have a pool table in there as well. Uh, so it's perfect, I think, for some dwarf citrus trees. And I already have about 20 grow lamps um, to use and utilize that we can utilize in there. So going back to the dreams, that's what we were both dreaming last night. We were both dreaming. And I think it was the guides telling us, um, get prepared, get ready to grow things in the house, in the cave, as well as everything that you're planting out here. And I'd love to get apple and cherry uh, trees for the front yard. And I think that's all we could do out there. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what else grows in a symbiotic relationship maybe that we could grow underneath the trees. Um, there's always interesting things to be discovered. There always is. You know, we just, in the front yard, there's room to grow stuff. We're just a little bit worried because there's some foot traffic there. And, like, if times were tough with food, um, they're just going to, you know, take the food. <laughs> Which I don't mind sharing. I'm totally about sharing. But I think you have to sustain your, your base and then you um, reach out for other people. Exactly. So, just a quick update, guys. So, we got figs. We have um, blueberries. We have grapes. 
We have blackberries, we have raspberries, we have strawberries, uh, and a soursop growing, and uh, all this stuff is looking good so far. I think it's going to just blossom really well, as we're going to be also giving it chi, sending our lay force into it and sending it positive vibrations and there's been many studies done that show that that works too and as well as tuning forks tuning they love tuning they do yes so thank you for your support on ko-fi and patreon check out medicinal foods there's a link on every video god bless and namaste, namaste.